Good afternoon, hello. My name is Daniel. This is the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. You join me on Good Friday. So it's a bank holiday in the UK, which means I've got all day to do training. I mean, house tidy and stuff, Liz. Plan for today is not catch up, but make the most of having some more free time. I've just had two full rest days. Just life just been, been busy. And sometimes that happens. I'm learning to acknowledge life stress as well as training stress and lift my foot off the gas when when those things come up. So I feel fresh, feel good. Now I feel like I want to train. So I'm out first thing this morning to miss the rain. Apart from I haven't done a very good job of missing the rain, but it's only drizzling. So I'm just gonna get it done. Trying to keep this run really cruisy. 40 minutes on the plan. There's a fairly big hill in the route, so I'm not able to keep it that easy, but as long as I'm not going flat out, because tomorrow the plan is to go to park run, not run flat out, but try and run a bit of a progressive or tempo 5k and just sort of try and see where I'm at is the plan. I've not got any expectations, but I am motivated by getting faster and getting fitter. So I feel like I want to go and draw a line in the sand somehow and just see where I am is the plan. So today's all about just keeping it controlled so that I'm not really hampering that effort tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of this drizzly run done. I've got a bike ride later on today. Here's the plan, which I'm super stoked for. Let's get home and see what Liz is doing. I tell myself it's days like today that really count. I hope they do. Every run is getting a little bit better. Not necessarily in terms of pace, but just in terms of how I feel. So I was nine minute mile and 42 minutes. So I felt really good, enjoyed it, feeling full of running again. It's also really, really ironic that today's pavement parking moan that I had at somebody, the van had the words, move it, written on it. <laughs> Brilliant. Pointed out it was parked on double yellows and across the pavement. And when I ran back, he'd moved to the other side of the road, fully taking up the pavement. So great thought process there. Anyway, let's see what Liz is doing. Oh, and out of interest, if you are interested, today's run was fastered in that I haven't had breakfast this morning, but that, that wasn't deliberate in terms of like weight loss or fueling or whatever. It's just easier for me to do. I just roll out of bed, get up and do the run without having to have breakfast and wait for things to happen. So not something I'm going to make a habit of, but just helpful for today's schedule. Okay, Liz does not want to be on video because she does not have any clothes on, but I just wanted to show you a new thing that Liz has got. She's so excited to use this. Liz, this is your brand new carpet cleaner. Yeah. Why, <laughs> why do we need a carpet cleaner? Because my cats are ruining my carpet. The little cat now is going out a lot and he seems to like mud and yeah. he comes in. Rupert does it as well. Yeah, but not as bad. He'll come in, he'll do a lap of the living room via all the furniture, sprint on the stairs, jump on our bed. Basically everywhere has got muddy paw prints, so. Uh, I've got a new carpet cleaner, how much do I keep on top of that? What a nightmare. I know, I'm just reading the instructions. Chuck them away, you don't need them. Liz, would you be surprised if I told you that I had a conversation with somebody about pavement parking during my run? <laughs> don't lean on the sofa, oh. you're all wet, please. <laughs> what? You need to stop it. <laughs> Somebody's got to stand up to them, haven't they? What did you say then? Oh, I don't know. Okay then, it is now mid-afternoon, it's about three o'clock. The weather is actually quite good, which is annoying given that I'm running the rain this morning, I'm now gonna ride inside in the sunshine, whatever. Anyway, right, so the plan for today is, firstly, let's get up to speed with what training I've been doing on the bike in the last couple of weeks, because I haven't really made a big thing about it on this channel. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm back, oh, I'm not, oh, I'm back, oh, I'm not. So I'll try and do, like if I'm coming back from an injury, I'll do those first few tiny little sessions first, and then say, right, I'm back if it's going well, and it is going well. So last week I did two 30 minute spins just indoors on here, absolutely no knee pain whatsoever. And then this week I did a 40 minute ride at the beginning of this week, and I'm gonna try and do an hour today. Now I've had absolutely no reason to, to worry about this. I've still intermittently been doing my rehab stuff, but to be honest, I feel like it's all sorted knee-wise, I think. It's been long enough now that surely anything should have recovered. So I've also got in my mind that uh, within the next week or two, I'm going to Mallorca for a week, which I'm very much looking forward to, but I'm not gonna go to the trouble of stripping a bike down, packing it in a box, pushing it through the airport, etc. if I'm not actually gonna ride the damn thing. So this is a bit of a test, to be honest, is can I ride a bike for an hour or so? I'm testing, obviously, numerous things, but just, I just, yeah, I don't know until I give it a go, do I? So, looking forward to this. Cycling is 
well, it was, I don't know if it is at the minute, but you know, it's my strength in the sport of triathlon. So I need to keep that there. And cycling is also key for me to be able to do like, a, you know, many hours of training in a week, which helps me work on my weight management and general fitness as well. So being able to do this for a few hours a week is a big thing to me. And I just know that when I can get back doing that, all the things that I'm working on will just accelerate. So we need to manage this return, make sure this is the only return, and then do everything that I can. So let's find a nice flat loop and get pedaling. I'm ready to say this with a smile on my face. Ride done and dusted, stats on screen. One hour, that's my longest ride in, as I say, six or seven weeks. 214 watts average, 216 normalized, a little tiny spike in there. Average heart rate, 128, that's pretty high, but it doesn't matter. I'm so, so happy to get that done. Absolutely no new injury pain. I think I'm gonna take a lot of confidence from that. Confidence enough to strip my bike down to start getting it packed, I know anyway. Also not too upset now that we didn't go outside because the weather is bad. Uh, wrist feels okay on the bike. It's like, awkward with the splint on, but I can deal with awkward, it's fine. I just need to keep chipping away now. I can't explain how far away I feel from where I've been, but I know that like every time I get on this and do something and get out running and so on, you're chipping your way back towards it. Whether I get back to where I've been before, ever, I don't really know. I'm certainly going to give it a good crack. So thank you very much for watching. Hit like and subscribe and all that jazz if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock for some more duathlon training. Swimming will be a little while yet, but we will see. Thanks for watching.